For many years, Lightroom and Photoshop were the program I used for editing photos and organizing images and video. But many of you were asking for alternatives, so I tried several other programs, and the one I found the most interesting is Luminar Neo. Two years ago, I adopted it as my go to program for photo post processing and I did a video review of its functionalities. You will find a link at the end of this one and in the description. Many users were asking for an alternative to the monthly subscription plan of Lightroom and Photoshop. Luminar Neo offers several pricing options, including a choice between perpetual license or subscription plan. It can be used as a standalone program or as a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop. You will find a link to the different price options, together with a 10% discount coupon, in the description of this video. It is an affiliate link, so I receive a small commission for each sale, but I'm not sponsored by this company. When I started using Luminar Neo, I consider it the best value editing software, with only a few minor options missing from my wish list. But in the last couple of years, the program has been constantly improved and updated, with plenty of interesting new features. It offers an array of innovative functionalities. It combines most features of Lightroom and Photoshop within a single program. This greatly simplifies the workflow, as there is no need to switch from one program to the other. It is possible to use Layer, although I will not analyze it here, as it would take too much time. In this video, I will concentrate on the functionality added recently. For all the basic features, please refer to my previous video. Luminar Neo is so rich in features that it might seem difficult for beginners, but this is not the case, as most functionalities are very intuitive and easy to learn. Like Lightroom, Luminar Neo has database management capabilities for photos and videos. This is crucial for users with a large collection of media. A couple of years ago, the catalog was not as powerful as the one in Lightroom, but it has been improved. It is possible to import a large number of images from a hard drive, maintaining the same structure of folder and subfolders. When adding a new subfolder or moving images from one to another, the changes made are also applied to the hard drive. It is possible to have more than one catalog, which can be useful to separate different activities, for example, professional images from personal ones. It supports albums to temporarily group images without modifying their position in the folders, very handy when working on a specific project. It is also possible to add tags like favorite or rejected to each file. The image Organization in Luminar Neo is now almost as good as the one in Lightroom. The only missing features are color codes and star ratings. Database management becomes more and more important as the collection of images grows. The ability to organize video clips is crucial for videographers and is not offered by most other editing programs. Luminar Neo now offers all sorts of extensions, including panorama stitching, focus stacking, and HDR merge. This last extension has an interesting option for batch merging a large amount of images taken in automatic exposure bracketing, to create several merged images at once. It is a great time saver, especially when taking many photos in the direction of the sun. There are also three generative tools based on artificial intelligence. Gen erase deletes unwanted objects, filling the space to match the surrounding area. Gen swap adds specific element to an image. After drawing a mask, a sentence has to be entered to describe the element to add. Gen expand extend the boundary of an image horizontally or vertically, filling the space, integrating with the surrounding area. It can be used, for example, for a photo taken in vertical format to be included in a project in landscape orientation.
Water Enhancer and Twilight Enhancer are two new tools based on artificial intelligence. Water Enhancer detects a body of water in an image and creates a mask to limit the adjustment to that specific portion. It is then possible to fine-tune the appearance of the water by modifying the amount of blue and green, the brightness and the contrast. I prefer to make bold adjustments at first to find the desired effect and to better show you how each slider works. I then make it more subtle using the amount and original color sliders. The mask does in most cases a good job isolating the water, but some adjustments are often needed. By opening the menu Refine Area, we can add or subtract elements to the mask using the buttons Draw and Erase after using the sliders below to adjust the brush. Toilet Enhancer is a series of presets meant to replicate the atmosphere of the blue and golden hours around dawn and dusk. There is a choice of five presets. Golden, Emerald and Mauve to give different interpretation of the golden hour with a very warm feel. Blue restores the look of the blue hours to the scene with much cooler colors. I'm not a big fan of blush, I find it a bit too extreme. Let's try with this image of a monastery on the slope of Mount Etna in Sicily, taken right after sunset. There are a few clouds in the lower part of the sky with some reflection from the setting sun. Let's see if we can increase the golden hour effect to match what it looked like in real life. Mauve gives a dramatic rendition with a very warm feel and a good dose of magenta. The amount slider is by default at zero, so to see the effect we must push it to the right. The overall exposure is at the beginning very low, so I increase the value. In the panel sky we can adjust the temperature and tint, mostly on the sky although the elements on the ground are also partially affected. I prefer to reduce the magenta cast just a bit. The panel down has several sliders affecting, again, mostly the sky. The next one, Scene, is useful to adjust the luminosity of the elements on the ground. Finally, in Mask Refinement, we can fine-tune the area where the effect is applied. Feel free to play around with Golden and Emerald for slightly different rendition of the Golden Hour. If we select Blue, the mood changes with much cooler tones, mimicking what we would see about half hour later in the Blue Hour. A couple of years ago, Luminar Neo had some masking tools based on artificial intelligence, but they needed some refinements. These tools have been improved since, and several new interesting ones have been added. The brush, linear gradient and radial gradient work very much like in Lightroom and Photoshop for localized adjustments. Many users are familiar with them. The Luminosity Mask is a very welcome addition. It works by selecting a portion of the luminosity spectrum. We can precisely choose the area to be masked around the highlights, midtones, or shadows. The size of the area can be adjusted by moving the rectangular icon. By pulling the small arrows away, it is possible to adjust the feathering and soften the transition. In this case, I want to select the shadows to lift them slightly. Further down there is an artificial intelligence masking tool that analyzes the scene and groups, in this case, the elements into sky, flora, and architecture. Another interesting one is the object select. After analyzing the scene, the program tries to create a mask for each individual element. In this case, it works very well. Let's say that I want to increase the luminosity of this church hidden in the middle of the vegetation. I can click on the mask and then slightly push the exposure slider to the right and maybe also add a bit of warmth with the temperature slider. It is also possible to group several masks to use them together. By clicking on the button Add, I can select 
more than one element. I can then apply a touch of extra luminosity and some contrast. By clicking on subtract, I can deselect one or more elements. Click on this link to watch my video about all the basic functionalities of Luminar Neo. And don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.